there are two accounts being used by the same person who goes by the guise Noel Campbell. But they are one and the same person. And on at least one of the accounts, they use multiple usernames. Not that it's important, but I would suspect that whoever the person is behind Noel Campbell is probably a man in their early 50s or mid 50s. I'm not going to say why. I, I think that. And it's nothing to do with their photo, um, which presumably probably isn't their photo. I don't even know if their name is Neil, Noel Campbell. Presumably it's probably not. I'm going to, for the benefit of people on both channels, both channel owners, and maybe particularly for the benefit of Nick. So we had this person called Noel Campbell. I think he was originally on, on Eileen's channel, maybe as a fringe regular. Then he started coming on to Nicky News channel. Not long after he changed his username on the same account, to something like the lover man shubber off the top of my head. So he changed the username, but it was the same account. But he was openly saying it was the same person. He wasn't trying to deceive in that regard. And he ingratiated himself as a just a normal person. He wasn't a regular. He, well, he, he attended quite a lot, but he wasn't a real regular. Sub. He was more of a fringe regular, I suppose you'd say. Um, and he... Um, employed the particular ingratiating tactic of offering the channel owner a free psychic reading. Um, so what he did, he offered to give his phone number to Nicky New, the channel owner. He did this in live chat, which itself is very odd. This person was earmarked as a suspicious person from day one on the, on Nikki News channel. Behind the scenes, we always have an eye on this person. So he tried to ingratiate himself by offering a reading to Nick, to the channel owner, which Nikki New lapped up. I'm afraid you did, Nikki New. And you also presumably gave him your mobile number to someone that was pretty much a stranger to you, which I think is not a very sound thing to do. I'm afraid I, it needs to be said, Nicky. But you were persuaded by someone presumably being so transparent that they'll give you their mobile number. So this person seems to have gone to some, ex some extreme length to try and perpetrate this um, thing that I'm going to expand upon. As far as I know, it was quite a while ago that he gave Nicky New his number, but as far as I know, he's never given Nicky New a reading. He claimed that he was some sort of psychic or medium and that he had psychic abilities. Although, in, apart from one stream, I don't think he ever really ever talked about that at all, ever again, from my vague recollection of it. But then he ingratiated himself as a regular fringe member of the channel, Nicky News channel, and um, appeared to be, on the face of it, a friendly, genuine person, as far as you can assume. And I think the moral of all of this is, you know, if you're dealing with people online that you've never met, you know, the best approach is always to be cautious, you know, and only trust someone as far as you have got evidence that you should trust them. And if something sounds too, too good to be true, it probably is. So if he offers you a reading, gives you out his mobile number in the live chat, even if he then del immediately deletes the, the number, that's a very odd thing to do. Um, he changed his name to a, a rather dubious name. That I, I thought this lover man Shabba, I always thought it was a rather dubious name. And um, 
then he was responsible for making, on different days, he was responsible for making various mean comments, I'll just describe them as that, relating to people on Eileen Strong's channel, including Eileen herself, probably in particular. And it's clear now that this person was intent on making particularly mean comments to inflame problems so that people on Eileen Strong's channel would perceive him as a regular of Nikki News who was making nasty comments about Eileen in particular and so that, that would inflame the situation and result in a tit for tat. Was, I believe, the 11th of November. The 11th of November. He posted his phone number in live chat. Subsequent to that date, on a number of occasions, he made various mean comments directed at people at Eileen Strong's channel. I'm trying to find some particular examples because they are important. Yes, there was an incident, the so-called, as I'm going to call it, sofa gate, where someone appeared to mock Eileen Strong supposedly falling over getting off her sofa during her live stream. Now at the time it was said it was immediately after it occurred and it was by this Noel Campbell. He's the person that mentioned it and mocked Eileen for it. He's the one that brought it up and at the time I said to him, actually, I don't think she fell over. I think she tripped, maybe tripped, and that was it. And I also, I think, said, well, I don't think you should be saying nasty comments related to someone's disability either. Here are the, so here are the, some of the comments that he made. This was on the 15th of November. 15th of November. He said... He mentioned about Eileen, he said, oh, here we are, quote, Shrek fell off the sofa tonight on her live, end quote. That's right. Shrek fell off the sofa tonight on her live, end quote. He was the first person to mention it. He then said, I wish it was a hard floor. He said that it was on the sofa. He said, that sofa, quote, must bloody stink, end quote. These comments were all in quite quick succession. Quote, she says she went ass over tit, end quote. Is that, Nikki No? have, is that, have, do you understand what I'm saying so far? Do you have any questions about what I've said so far? If Nikki News not there, perhaps Terry could say, "Is what I've." You do understand, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. So, as I say, he made negative comments deliberately to cause trouble. Comments that would inflame the situation, be noticed by Arlene Strong's channel and could then cause drama, and then under his own guise, or under a different guise, he went over to other channels, including possibly, I think, Eileen's, I'm talking off the top of my head now, and either appearing to be a turncoat, or by appearing to be someone completely different by using a sock puppet name, but using the same account, which was a rather stupid thing to do, in terms of his ploy, and it's why part of the reason why we caught this person out. He then brought attention to the nasty comments that he'd made himself to inflame the situation on on for Eileen's channel. So basically, they'll say nasty things, 
then pretending to be either a turncoat or an alias sock puppet, going over to Eileen Strong's channel and saying, do you know this person said this, 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 this? Well, it was actually themselves saying it. Then what happened was we noticed that this person had changed their name but was, was the same account and was making these criticisms of Nikki News channel. The criticisms were typically along the lines of, this has been occurring over the last couple of weeks, but particularly the other day, um, along the lines, oh, it's wrong to take the, to mock someone's ability, disability, to say things bad about someone's disability. It referring to comments that they've made themselves about Eileen. Okay, Eileen? I know you can't comment because I had to block you, but this is what, this is what was going on, Eileen. They will bring attention to the bad comments they've made themselves about you in order to make, and the purpose was basically to make Nikki News Channel look bad as being a channel that would make nasty comments about things like someone's appearance, about them falling off the sofa, about the other person making comments about someone's wedding dress, about comments about what their appearance is like, calling the person Shrek. All of these comments were made by the same person. And then what happened then was we realized what this person was doing. This person had changed their name, but using the same account. So what the person they did then is they used another account or created a new account, called their account Noel Campbell, came into Nikki News chat. We then addressed that person they claimed that they, they were basically didn't know anything about it, that they were the real Noel Campbell, and that they tried to get the impression that they had an impersonator. Now, the reason why this person had to create a new account is because they used their old account under both usernames. So in order to come back to make it look as if he had an impersonator, he had to use a new account. I mean, it could possibly be but someone completely different or not even connected to them created the account to perpetuate the whole thing. I mean, it goes round and round and round into all the different permutations, but the most obvious example is it's the same person. And the reason why we know it's the same person or at least two people in close cahoots is because under the new account, when Noel Campbell appeared in our chat the other day, I asked them a couple of questions. He was very evasive on answering any of the questions, especially for someone who was appeared to be someone who was impersonating him. You'd think they might be concerned, but they didn't respond with any speed. And when they are, when I asked them their third question, they refused to answer it altogether, which was because in order for them to answer the question, they would have been caught out. And the answer to the question was about the phone number, because the person who created this extra account and came into the chat the other day said to Nu, Nikki Nu, oh, you've got my phone number. I'll text you to prove that I'm the real Noel, not the impersonator. So he texted Nu. And Nu thought, oh, this is the real Noel. This is like the original Noel. But no, because it was to the account that gave the number and originally I texted new was a different YouTube account from the phone number. So it was, was a different account on the same phone number that texted Nikki new the other day. So we knew there must be the same person or potentially two people using the same phone number, but presumably it's the same person. Let's just go with that. Cause it was the same phone number. So they created a second account but using the same phone number. So obviously the same person. So this person's been exposed. I don't see there's any doubt about it because I've asked Nikki New very clearly, is the phone is the phone number that you've got, the one that was shown in the live stream on that date, is that how you got the phone number? And Nikki New responded to me and said emphatically that, that was correct. And I said, well, if that's the case, then that confirms what I thought. They must be the same person. This person is not a genuine person. They're there to cause trouble. Now, Nikki, are you there still? I hope you are. Are you following exactly what I've said? Have you got any questions? Do you want me to clarify anything or is that clear? Hello, no, I can see you there. 
are you crystal clear about exactly what happened and why I know that they are the same person? Because there's no other explanation, is there? Because they had the same phone number. The phone number was given to you by one account, what might be called the original account, the one that changed its name to Seamus. And then that person on a different account called Noel Campbell, the one that was on the other day, said they would text you to demonstrate they were the real Noel Campbell, but they texted you on the same number. Okay, good. So news clear. Does anyone watching now have any questions explicitly about Noel Campbell? Are they not clear about something? Let's do those questions now. So I'm inviting anyone. You can type now if you've got a question related explicitly to do with this Noel Campbell situation and about how we know why it's the same person. If I maybe I've not made something clear, let me know. I'm glad you've blocked your, his number. No, I, I suggested that you did. And I think it's telling you that of all this time since this person gave you his number and saying he'd give you a personal reading, did he ever give you a personal reading, no? So, no, Campbell, I exposed him publicly last night. As soon, not very shortly after I exposed him, which was about three hours after he'd appeared in news live stream. During the middle of the night, so he might be American, he deleted his account, the original account. The one that he changed his name to, Seamus Welton, that was the account that got deleted. And the reason it got deleted, presumably, was because by deleting it, he deleted all the comments that he'd ever made on Nikki News Lives. But before I disclosed that I knew what it was going on, before I exposed him, I took evidence of screenshots of comments that he'd made in Nikki News channel, such as nasty comments about Eileen. So then he tried to, to cover his tracks by deleting his profile, deleting his account, the original one, which was Noel Campbell, changed the name to Shabberman, changed it back to Noel Campbell, and then changed it to Seamus Welton, all the same account. He deleted that account so that all the comments could be deleted. The Noel Campbell that was on the other day, same person, different account, probably only an account that I've just got um, made up quite recently beforehand. Um, likely that that account had probably not ever been in Nikki News channel before. Yes, but, which, but I didn't dis disclose it publicly until I got evidence of what he'd been doing. Yes, right. When he was on yesterday, he claimed that he worked for the prison service. I'm sure it's kind of an, an odd thing to say. Uh, presumably he was trying to make out that he was trustworthy, but a bit odd, as you say. Why would somebody who works for the prison service give out their mobile number on a live stream? It's odd say the least. And as I say, there can be no doubt that they're the same person because the, it was the first account that gave the number and it was the second account that said to know, I'll text you on that number now. And, that, and then they used the same number. I'm, left, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going by what Nikki News told me. If what Nikki News told me isn't accurate, then I retract that they're the same person and maybe there has been a genuine mistake. And maybe I'm wrong. But based on everything that I've seen, I'm very confident that they must be the same person because Nikki New has told me, which this is the critical thing, Nikki New has told me that the phone number that she they first used to contact her on one account was the same number that they contacted them on under a different account live during the live chat. If I've misunderstood new, please say. That's right, Terry. They deliberately, this person deliberately says things that are nasty, such as falling off the sofa. The sofa smells. 
the person doesn't deserve to get disability benefit. This person does, doesn't use their wheelchair, all this sort of thing. News says that I'm right. So going by what Nikki News told me, there can't be any doubt that it, they are the same person. Are they also, this, I mean, this person's also the same person who said, suggested something about reporting you to the benefits service because they didn't think you should get benefit for your disability. Same person saying all of these things. That's right, Bewitched. So he was making out that it account has been, he was being impersonated. He was claiming he'd been impersonated. He was feigning some concern, but then when I, uh, then he was making out as if, like a lot of these top puppets do, they play like this naive thing about, oh, I don't understand this. I don't know what you mean. All this kind of bollocks we get with lots of sock puppets accounts on Nikki News channel. They play this naive, innocent thing about, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, or what does that mean? What does that mean? And he was saying about the bank account had been hacked, which was a ridiculous thing to suggest. It's just a YouTube thing. Even It wasn't anything about his account being hacked. It was about an account being impersonated. And I said to him, email me now and I will give you the URL to the other account so you can see th what the account is and you can report them to YouTube and say you've got an impersonator. Did he ever email me so he could get the URL of the account that was supposedly um, reported? No. He had about five hours and in none of that time did he email me to get the URL of the account that he was suggesting was impersonating him. So that itself was very dubious. And he didn't say, oh, can, and I, it was offered to him multiple times. He never said, oh, I'd rather not email. Can you give it to me a different way? For example, I could have said to Nu or another moderator, please, can you post the URL in the live chat of this other account so we can see it now? He wasn't that bothered about it. So it was all very odd. Yes, that's right. She, as soon as I declared publicly that I'd sussed him, that he was the same person, he deleted his account within an hour, which meant that all the comments that he'd made on, on Nikki News channel ever immediately got deleted. But as I say, I made sure to screenshot a lot of his activity, of the worst activity, before I announced it, because I knew that he might delete it. Yes, Eileen, this is the sort of thing we have to do because of what goes on. So all the allegations that have been made recently, well, not all of them, but a lot of the stuff that's been said recently about saying we've been making bad comments on Nikki News channel about Eileen. A lot of this stuff is coming from people deliberately causing trouble and saying the worst things. Neil Wilson, violent, vile comment. Noel Campbell making loads of comments about Eileen's disability. And then they turn coat, go in a different guise, go to an Eileen's, appear to be someone else and say, oh, look, they said this, they said that. You know, and these people are like clearly very familiar with what's going on on both channels. They are watching both channels. They know very well what's going on. So they appear knowledgeable and um, they appear to be people who are regulars because they know a lot what's going on. But they're clearly um, watching both channels. And um, this Noel Campbell, as soon as um, this supposed falling off a sofa thing happened, this person appeared or started talking about Eileen falling off the sofa, supposedly. Supposedly. Straight away. It happened within minutes. So this person was clearly on the ball about what was going on on both channels and he's picking up stuff on one and then going to use it on the other. Um, Cass asks, how old was the account that changed to Seamus? Well, the account that changed to Seamus was the original Noel, Noel Campbell. The Noel Campbell that we'd seen the whole time in Nikki News chat, the one that gave the account number, the phone number, that's the same one. It's the same one all along. 